Today in 802 Garage, I'm going to show you how to remove the radio in a 2002 to 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX. The only tool you actually need for this job is a Phillips head screwdriver, but I'm highly going to recommend using one of these magnets on a stick, as well as having some of these handy trim removal tools. They will just make the job a lot easier. These are by a brand called Trisalto. I'll leave a link down in the description to these and some other similar cheap trim removal tools. So there's just a few little tips that are going to make this job easier on you and my first one is to remove the cup holder and vent assembly because it makes access to this trim piece a lot easier. So just pop the cup holder out and there's two screws on either side. Again they're just Phillips. And I definitely would use a magnetic tip screwdriver if you can. Put the screws in a safe place. And this is where the magnet on a stick is nice. So next you can actually just pull up on this whole assembly and it kind of just pops right out of the inner vents and that lets you pull this cup holder right out and out of your way. And then this piece of trim is really easy to get to. So I'm going to show you two methods. The first is you can definitely pop it out. The clips are right here in the top corner. Just pull on the top and you can feel it come out. They're just plastic clips so take it easy on them. But I also really like to use these trim removal tools to help apply a little bit of force in multiple areas because it reduces the chance of breaking any of those clips. It's especially helpful down here. The other two clips are actually right down here on the bottom. And so what I recommend doing is prying on this a little bit and then putting one of your trim removal tools right in by the vent. And that pops out really nice and easy. And you'll see on this side, if I don't use the trim removal tool, it's just a lot sketchy to pull the clip. Now that you have that trim ring removed, there's just six screws that hold the radio assembly in. There's one at the top here, another in the middle, and then one that's back here and recessed in that area. So I'll give you a better look at that. It's right there. So I'll remove those real quick. And I do want to note that there are a couple different screw sizes involved in this entire assembly, and it's good to keep track of where they go just to make sure you don't stress or ruin any plastic. For this lower one, it's where I especially recommend having one of these extendable magnets because there's a good chance that you'll drop it in there and never see it again. With all the screws undone, all you do to remove the radio is just pull out on it. And if you do have the OEM radio, it may be in a different place or maybe a double DIN unit. In this case, it's an aftermarket head unit in the first position, but should pull out the same no matter what. And once you have it out, you can see the factory wiring harness plug looks like this. And obviously you just disconnect this little clip right here and it'll pull out. So reassembly is just the opposite of removal. And the only tips that I really wanna give you on that is that when you are reinstalling the cup holder, there's a tab right here that will prevent you from putting it in over that lower trim ring if you've already put that on. So I recommend putting the cup holder in with this uh, first. And then the second tip I have for you is when you're trying to slot this back in, it sort of has to go in at a weird angle, but you'll feel when it clips in, if you get it in the right position and you push, it latches in like that. You'll feel that it's nice and solid just because those vents have to seat in. And that's all there is to removing the radio in a 2002 to 2004 Subaru Impreza WRX. The 05 Plus models use a slightly different cluster and they don't have the cup holder here. So the process is similar, but it'll be a little bit different than this. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for watching 802 Garage. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you see anything I could improve on or if you have any questions. Thank you very much.